Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I got a new and improved shoe from Wilson. It's taken a while to get here. Could it be here? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get started, I'm going to take my, a nice sip of my hot, I was going to say buttered coffee. That would be good, actually, but hot black coffee, uh, since I'm still half, a, half asleep right now. Mm. Fresh brewed from the Italian bakery out here. Um, I actually walked in and said, when did you brew that? And he, she said, five minutes ago. I was like, I'll take it. Because sometimes I get it and it's only lukewarm. Um, you know, can't take it lukewarm. I like it scalding hot. I want to burn my tongue, you know. But anyways, just enough about me. Um, if you want to support the channel, keep me awake and keep my tongue burnt, uh, you can go on buy me a coffee backslash tennis spin. And that'll keep me awake and keep rolling these videos out for you. For those of you who already um, bought me coffees, um, I love them. Thank you so much. Um, I really need, you know, cups of Joe in the morning and, and then, you know, pints of beer at night. But but this is about coffee today, though. So thank you so much, guys. All right, guys. So what are we talking about today? So in like a year or a little bit more ago, Wilson came out with a Rush Pro. 3.0, a tennis shoe that I begrudgingly bought. And I've begrudgingly bought tennis shoes from Wilson for probably 20 years now. Um, I think the last shoe that I felt was good was that Pro Staff Mesh shoe that my buddy, uh, actually Kevin Chu, just sent me a picture of. He's like, I should have kept these. I was like, yeah, that was probably the best shoe they made ever. We used to sell a ton of those at the at the club. Uh, it was either Pro Staff Mesh or Pro Staff Leather, but most people wanted the mesh because it breathed a little better, it was a little lighter, it fit wide-footed people a little more because that leather was nice and stiff and killed that pinky toe um, after, you know, uh, killed that pinky toe for pretty much two weeks until uh, it stretched out for all you big-footed people like me. Um, but yes, but anyways, enough about that. Um, so 3.0 Rush Pro. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So I, I took the shoe and they're like, yeah, they're 120. I'm 129. I'm like, man, they're $99. So I brought them in. I put them immediately on sale for $99 like I usually do because I don't trust whatever, you know. Uh, I don't trust them to sell. Um, but amazingly... People like them. They fit most people. So I was like, oh, okay, that's great. All right? People bought them again and again. All right? I tried one on myself and I'm like, this ain't horrible. So I continued to buy them last year. It was probably the best year for Wilson shoes ever in the history of me doing this. Now, that's a lot to say, because all I ever do is complain about them, usually. So, this is now the 3.5. When my buddy um, showed me these from Wilson last year, I was like, I hope you didn't screw this up. Seriously, man, you got something good going on? Don't mess it up, please. Uh, so, he's like, no, we didn't do hardly anything to it. And I was like... You better not have, or else you're going to see your sales go down the drain. So, and he showed me the shoe, and I'm like, okay, it looks like you didn't screw it up. As you can tell, right, you still got the mesh front for the nice softness, right? I think the main thing, they took that W out of here, which is what I've been complaining about for like 20 years. I was like, hide that W. W stands for Woolworth. Okay, let's get Woolworth out the shoe. Aha, somebody listens. All right, maybe shrink it up a little bit, half the size. 
let's make it that that kind of discreet, secretive, high performance tennis shoe. Just dub, you know, dub. Anyways, so anyways, it looks like they didn't do a whole lot because they basically this this whole shoe looks the same except I think this part is new. And then the W was right here. So this is, looks like it's got a little more stability in the back. Back, I don't say heel part, but back part to keep you in a little bit more. Um, from what I've read, this is supposed to be a little stiffer. Um, a little less torsion, they were saying. But it has, it has a four-dimensional support chassis. So my guess is this part along comes through here and it's a little more rigid through the shoe. I can actually feel that. But most people want a shoe like this for comfort, right? You got the kind of cloth-like material up front so that most people, as soon as they put their foot in, in the store, they're not gonna feel like, oh man, that hurts, you know? So it's like, oh man, that feels good. That's what you want. Because first impressions are huge in tennis shoes. Let's go to the bench. Let's see, this is a 10 and a half. I'm guessing it's gonna run true to size. Because I usually wear 10 and a half or 11, and I am a 10 and a half. Okay. First impressions, like I say, got my foot in just like a glove. Okay, I get it, I get it. The arch is in the right spot. I can feel it right there. Yep, it's perfectly positioned in this 10 and a half for me. Uh, the length is perfect. I got just a hair room in the front. The width, the width is perfect. It, I'm being held in very well. Um, Coach Rob loves these shoes. Um, I like this actually. The heel actually fits perfectly. It's holding me in, very stable. Like I'm trying to, look at, see how it's moving? See how, like I move side to side and the shoe moves with me. So I'm not fighting the shoe. The, the shoe's hugging me. And when I go sideways, it's allowing me to go there just enough, but probably won't let me turn an ankle. So, and it's got this big fat toe guard. Look at this toe guard. Looks like it grew a little bit for all you guys who uh, drag there. Hmm. Not not bad at all. Let's weigh this thing. Let's see if it got it gained any more weight. All right, let's get the scale on. Let's weigh this puppy. Oh, three seventy nine. It's a pretty heavy shoe. What's my shoe weigh? Okay, well, mine's heavier. <laughs> 430. Well, 379, not bad. That's kind of on the lighter end of the scale. Uh, hmm. So I'm going to actually go out in the court with uh, Coach Rob and a uh, See if he, uh, what he thinks about these, since he's Mr. Wilson man. All right, we'll see you out there. All right, guys, so we're on the court. Got my man, Coach Rob. I'm gonna test out these shoes. Check them out, we both got them on. Look like Wimbledon or what, man, right? Ready, to, ready for the All England Club. All right, stay tuned.
<laughs> All right, so Rush Pro 3.5 by Wilson just came out. Coach Rob, one of the first people to get it because first of all, he needed shoes. And second of all, he needed shoes because the shoes were stuck in a canal, man. You know, and then stuck in production and stuck somewhere. It don't matter, but it's stuck, okay? Now it got unstuck. We called the plumber out, the shoes came through, okay? We got them, all right? Coach Rob, how happy are you with these shoes? Uh, ecstatic, uh, they feel great. They played well, my feet feel great, my feet are happy again, uh, the rest of my body feels good, I'm not aching uh, from wearing worn out shoes. Um, yeah, put them on and good to go, right from the bat. Didn't really need much breaking in. Um, yeah, good job, Wilson. Yeah. And thank you, Harry, for getting some shoes to us. <laughs> I know, it was a long time coming. He was like literally begging me for shoes, and I'm like, man, Wilson, it'll come, man. Wilson will, Wilson will come through eventually. Okay, like Filipino time. We'll talk about that another time. Okay, anyways, is there a difference between the 3 0 and these 3 5s? I, I would say, besides a little bit of the cosmetic here, but the feel felt great. It felt the same. Uh, so, besides a little bit of, um, you know, changing the W, um, I think it had been over here and now it's back here. This, um, design feature might have been a little bit different but felt great yeah felt, felt really good so so i've been complaining about the w for years right i like the way that they did move it to the back as i've been telling you right make it look more cleaner right w stands for wilson not walmart okay finally and these are wonderful wonderful shoes okay best they ever made Thank God they didn't change them, except for moving the W, which is a great move on Wilson's part. All right, so you said these are great out of the box. Yes. Immediately, go play a match with it, no break in time. Any additions to that? Um, you know, I, I might hit for a half hour in them just to kind of break it in a little bit, but you know, before you start really going for a hard match. But I mean, it. we pulled it out of the box. We started hitting, Harry was hitting some good shots. I was running them down, my feet feel great. I wasn't sliding around in the shoe. Um, I've been at 10 and a half forever and this is a perfect fit. So yeah. I've been wearing Wilson's for probably 30 years and feel great. And you know, the cushioning is definitely there. Yes. Cushioning is definitely Which, there. Definitely what we want. Yeah, arch seems to be in the right spot, right? Uh -huh. I seem to be in this shoe pretty snugly, right? They keep referring to chassis, like cars, airplanes, right? There's some kind of four-wheel chassis thing on this thing. So I feel like we got four-wheel drive going on right here in these shoes. So four-wheel drive, so some good shocks, um, good shoes overall, right? Yeah, Tell, tell the folks you gonna buy them? I, I yes. Uh, definitely. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on the advisory staff. I These shoes feel really good. He got three pairs already. All my inventory. So don't call me for a ten and a half. Okay? <laughs> Any other size but ten and a half. All right. want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for hanging out with me today and sharing his opinion about the Rush Pro 3.5s. All right? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.